We're gonna demonstrate this for you guys, okay? Pour this in here, swish it around a little bit. It's solidified. What's up guys, it's uh, Jeff with Encore Coatings here. It's June 5th, 2020, I hope you're all doing well. I'm in my truck, obviously, and so I apologize for any kind of audio quality issues, but we're gonna give this a shot because I really wanna get this video out. It's one that I've wanted to do for a while, and um, it's gonna save you a lot of headache, potentially. Um, it's all about, I wanna talk about bad concrete, okay? What you need to watch out for uh, before you purchase our product. You know, we, we over here really want you to have something you love around your pool with zero issues. So that's why I do these videos is to educate you as much as I can so you, you know, you can make precautions and, and avoid a lot of headache, time, and, and, and money wasted. So uh, let's talk about bad concrete. Many of you find our product because you had bad concrete poured. You know, it, it doesn't look good, it has little shrink cracks, it's, it's, the, the color is inconsistent. You know, all of these things, if, if someone tells me this, those are all red flags in my book and what I'm immediately going to tell you is to go out there and rub your hand across the concrete or perhaps put a piece of tape on the concrete and rip it up. And what I, what I tell you to look for is a milky, chalky, white, powdery residue. Okay, guys, this is a huge issue. And it's rare, but it happens and you need to know about it. What that chalk is, is, a, is an excess of minerals that was failed or it was not integrated into the concrete mix, okay? Whether it was just a bad batch chemistry of concrete or perhaps it was poured on an extremely hot day and the conditions just did not permit that concrete to cure it way, the way it needed to, okay? And it's ironic because this chalky, powdery stuff, whether it's calcium, potassium, or just Portland cement residue, you know, it's ironic because that's that's the good stuff you needed in that concrete to develop the strength it needs, not only to just be a good slab of concrete, but to support a coating being put on top of it. Because again, guys, coating's 101, coating's 101, you gotta have a good, clean, solid surface, a foundation for that coating to bond to, okay? so. When you have bad concrete poured, not only does it look cosmetically bad, the, it's also structurally compromised, okay? Because again, that powdery residue on top was supposed to be integrated into the, into the concrete to form all of the strength you need. But instead, it didn't cure right, and now those minerals are migrating to the surface as a chalky powder, and it's definitely gonna interfere with any concrete coating that you might consider. Okay, so, you know, we want you to use our product and love it, but if you have bad concrete, we would rather educate you and say, hey, this is what you need to do. So, a little later on, when I get back to my office, I'm going to demonstrate for you a sample of what we call a densifier. Okay, these products are what you need to re remediate this situation, and my friends at Acuron Corporation out of Austin, Texas sent me a sample, and I'd love to show it to you guys. Okay, but you know bad concrete you got to watch out for it because this is this chalky substance although you use our triple crown cleaner you pressure wash it away you wait the appropriate amount of time before you come back with the coating you use our you know you follow the protocol to the t typically guys our three step system that we've developed mitigates about 99 percent of the risks involved with coating concrete but you know even if you do this on bad concrete with excess chalky you know minerals bleeding up through the surface that problem it's you know the triple crown is going to clean it you're going to pressure wash it. it's going to be clean but it's still bad concrete and this problem can persist even after you've taken all those measures so it's extremely important for you guys to be you know aware of this trap the best way to avoid a trap is to know it's it's there or the possibility of it being there so that's why i do these videos guys because we really want you to have something you love without any issues and you know you know god forbid that this does happen to you we would still help you out in remediating that but you know you're still you're still putting your time into this guys and we would rather just intercept that uh from the get-go so 
stick around guys I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna show you what this does this is some super cool t uh, technology here these densifiers okay and this is what you would need and uh, we don't make one but I'd rather educate you and tell you how to remediate something like this and um, and then we can have a conversation about coating your pool deck you know once you have something good and solid then we can talk about the cool product and, and, and how much you need and how to apply it you know so stay tuned guys really appreciate everything and um, hope you guys are doing really well out there stay tuned I'm gonna show you this stuff see ya alright guys picking up where we left off we're talking about uh, the issues you could come across the dreaded uh, powdery substance you could find on the on some bad concrete I'm going to show you another example of bad concrete that you may not even see some powder on. But look, I want to get down to, to it uh, about these densifiers. If you have this chalky white substance on a on a on some bad concrete, you need to research these densifiers. Again, my, my friends at uh, Acuron, thank you, Paul, Acuron Corporation in Austin, Texas sent me this. This is a product called CPT2000. Okay, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you guys. Here I have some baking soda. Pick this up at Walgreens on the way here, and uh, I got a little glass jar here. Okay, I'm gonna put some baking soda in this jar. Try not to get it everywhere so my wife doesn't kill me. Okay, I wanna get a lot in there for you guys. Okay, so, can you guys see that? Baking soda. Sodium, bic sodium bicarbonate. This is uh, considered a crystalline salt, okay? And uh, another kind of powdery residue that you can see on uh, concrete and any kind of cementitious or mortar out there is a phenomenon that we call efflorescence. And efflorescence is definitely caused by water pressure moving those minerals up to the surface. And efflorescence is an undissolved salt. So we can uh, just for demonstration purposes consider that this is some efflorescence because sodium bicarbonate is a crystalline salt. Then I'm going to, so just imagine, just imagine this is the stuff floating around in your bad concrete pour. Okay, this is the stuff that's gonna migrate to the surface. And of course, if I cover your desk with baking soda and then you try to stick anything on that, you know, a piece of tape you know, or some paint or coating, there's no way it's going to bond, okay? Common sense there. But consider this the stuff that's floating around in your bad concrete. Before you put a coating on it and be disappointed, what you need to do is use a densifier. Again, Acuron Corporation, thank you. This is CPT2000. I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys, okay? Pour this in here. Swish it around a little bit. It's solidified okay what this has done is converted this crystalline salt into calcium silicate hydrate which is a key ingredient a critical ingredient in concrete that is responsible for developing the strength of concrete so not only what this this is not only going to take care of the chalkiness you know this is first of all going to penetrate three to five inches into your slab and it's going to convert all these minerals that would otherwise get in your way it's going to convert it into uh, calcium silicate hydrate so it's going to make your concrete stronger it's going to reintroduce this good stuff into back into your concrete and petrify your concrete slab so this not only increases the strength of your concrete this gets rid of the chalky substance and it also creates a more sound profile on the surface for a coating to bond to Okay, it's going to petrify that surface so the coating can really grab hold of it and stick in there through the long haul. Now guys, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is another example of bad concrete issues here, okay. Uh, I actually went to this job. I did not find any calcium dust on this job, but I got a few coating samples. I'm going to show you the underside of these, okay. Uh, when anything goes wrong, and this goes for a lot of coatings, I like to look on the underside. This is the top side. This would be the top side. You know, they looks like a tan color they picked. And when anything goes wrong, the most indicative thing you could look at as far as finding the mode of failure is to look at the underside of a peeled coating. And here you see, I hope you guys can see this. It actually pulled up, you know, it looks like a millimeter of the cream of the concrete. So you have 
a layer of compromised concrete that, you know, the coating obviously bonded to, but the bond there was stronger than the concrete had to itself. Okay, if that makes sense. So you can see this concrete is stuck to the bottom of this. Okay, so this was just a bad mix of concrete, in my opinion. Uh, the contractor told me, he's like, man, I knew something was a little different when I saw this because as I was pressure washing it away or pressure washing it, pressure washing it to clean it, he noticed that a dirt in his drainage zones, he saw a bunch of sand. He, he described it as a river of sand and you know, whatever that may have been, you know, that's a red flag in my book. So just throwing that out there for you guys. Um, guys, you know, again, we don't manufacture any densifiers, but uh, if you if you do come across this situation and you're looking for the best one out there, talk to Paul at Acuron Corporation. Uh, thank you, Paul, for this. And guys, uh, like I said, this is a rare occurrence. You know, uh, if you have bare concrete, you need to watch out for this, though, um, certainly before you make any purchases on any kind of coatings. OK, so I wanted to throw this out there. I hope it was helpful. Uh, we really appreciate everything. And um, like I said, we just want you to have something to love out there. And even if something does go wrong, we're going to take care of you. So really appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. It's Friday. Whenever you watch this, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, call us anytime, 888-776-2242. Thanks again. Bye-bye.